positions and the attorney for the people is present and the attorneys for the defendants are present and the defendants themselves are present mr foster would you like to retake the witness stand would there be any need to read the last question back yes your honor all right mr reporter if you would be so kind mr foster would you step to the diagram and indicate where you saw Mrs. Hamilton after the incident in this office. You have to visualize the second floor. This is the first floor. It would be approximately here on the second floor. Would you write on the second floor HA? Should you not say HA1, counsel? HA1 would be a fine, Your Honor. That is all you need. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Now, approximately what time of day did you see Mrs. Hamilton there? It must have been around 10 or thereabouts, 10.30, somewhere between 10 and 12. You may return to the witness stand at that time. Did Mrs. Hamilton make any statement to you? We met in the hall. She began talking. I don't remember what her statement was. There was a statement, just a lot of words. It was just coming and coming. She was talking to me about this and that. I don't remember what. Would you describe her tone of voice at that time? Yes, it was excited and rather loud. Were there classrooms near this particular area? Yes. Do you remember any particular teacher's classroom? Yes. Mrs. Black's room was right opposite. The doorway was right opposite from where we were talking. Did you observe Mrs. Black at the time that Mrs. Hamilton was making the statements? Yes, Mrs. Black came to the door, looked at both of us and closed the door, obviously disturbed. I move to strike the last part as not responsive. The motion is granted. The jury is admonished not to consider the last part, obviously disturbed. Was Mrs. Hamilton doing anything with her hands at the time? Objection. Leading. I believe you can change it. What, if anything, was Mrs. Hamilton doing at that time? What, if anything, was Mrs. Hamilton doing with her hands at that particular time? Objection. Your Honor, the same objection. Overruled. She was pointing a finger at me, emphasizing points. Let the record indicate the witness has taken up his left hand extended his forefinger and moved the hand up and down in a shaking motion. May I say I don't know if it was the left or right hand. I am left-handed. I just took it up. I don't know which hand. Was the motion accurately that you described the hand going up and down as it were? Yes. Were there any classrooms in this particular area? Yes, sir. One classroom. There was a book room between the two classrooms. The book room is about eight foot wide. Then the doorway into the second room was in that location. Did you observe anything in regard to those rooms? No. Did you observe anyone in the hallway during this incident? Other than Mrs. Black? Other than Mrs. Black? No. Now, how long did this particular incident last? Probably 10 minutes. Thereafter, did you leave the area? Yes. What about Mrs. Hamilton? I am not sure if she walked with me or if she went the other way. I can't remember. I didn't hear that answer, Your Honor. I am not sure whether she walked with me or she went to the other direction. I just don't remember how she left. Now, Mr. Foster, as principal of Vermont Avenue Elementary School from 1968 through the spring of 1972, did you authorize anyone to enter classrooms other than individuals that were working for the school without first obtaining a visitor's pass? No, sir. Did you authorize anyone to come upon the campus of the school and remain there without first obtaining a visitor's pass? No authorization. No. Your Honor, I have a document. It says Los Angeles City Schools Visitors Permit. May that be marked as People's Next in Order? That would be People's Number 7, I believe. May I approach the witness, Your Honor? Yes, you may. Mr. Foster, directing your attention to People's 7 for identification only. Do you recognize that document? Yes, sir. What is that document? This is a visitor's permit. Was that
that the type of permit that was used during the 71-72 school year at Vermont Avenue Elementary School? Yes, is this the type of permit that was required in order to visit a school room? Yes, sir. Where was one to obtain that, this particular type of permit? In the administration office, could one obtain that permit anywhere else at the school? No. May I approach the witness, Your Honor? Yes, you may. Does this permit contain several instructions? Yes, sir. For those instructions on the permits that were issued during the school year of 71-72 at Vermont Avenue Elementary School, Objection, Your Honor. There is no foundation that this witness examined each and every visitor's permit. It is overruled. Would you repeat that, please? Yes. Were those instructions contained on the permits that were issued during the school year of 71-72 at Vermont Avenue Elementary School? Yes, sir. Would you read those instructions from the permit? Please observe the following regulations. One, enter and leave the classroom as quietly as possible. Two, do not converse with the teacher during class time. Three, you are requested to limit your visit to 20 minutes. Four, if you wish to confer with the teacher, please arrange for a conference. Were there special times set for conferences? There are special times in schools for conferences, a half hour before school starts or a half hour after the class leaves. However, a parent can get in touch with the teacher and arrange a conference during her recess time. For instance, if the teacher wishes to give up her recess time, that would be an emergency though. If a parent wanted to arrange for a special counseling, would the parent have to arrange that through the administration office or directly with the teacher? She would talk with the teacher, but it has to come through the office that the counseling is being held. The teacher would talk with her anyway, either by mail or in person. You have to remember that these parents work. However, she can contact the teacher and the parent can arrange a conference with my knowledge. In order to have a conference, did you have to authorize the conference? Yes, sir. What type of policy did you have in regard to parents visiting the school? Parents were always welcome. Mr. Foster, would you step to the diagram and indicate where you saw Mrs. Hamilton after the incident in the office? You have to visualize the second floor. This is the first floor. It would be approximately here on the second floor. Would you write on the second floor HA? Should you not say HA1 council? HA1 would be fine, Your Honor. That is all you need. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Now, approximately what time of day did you see Mrs. Hamilton there? It must have been around 10 or thereabouts, 1030, somewhere between 10 and 12. You may return to the witness stand. At that time, did Mrs. Hamilton make any statement to you? We met in the hall. She began talking. I don't remember what her statement was. There was a statement, just a lot of words. It was just coming and coming. She was talking to me about this and that. I don't remember what. Would you describe her tone of voice at that time? Yes, it was excited and rather loud. Were there classrooms near this particular area? Yes. Do you remember any particular teacher's classroom? Yes. Mrs. Black's room was right opposite. The doorway was right opposite from where we were talking. Did you observe Mrs. Black at the time that Mrs. Hamilton was making the statements? Yes, Mrs. Black came to the door, looked at both of us and closed the door, obviously disturbed. I move to strike the last part as not responsive. The motion is granted. The jury is admonished not to consider the last part, obviously disturbed. Was Mrs. Hamilton doing anything with her hands at the time? Objection, leading. I believe you can change it. What if anything was Mrs. Hamilton doing at that time? What if anything was Mrs. Hamilton doing with her hands at that particular time? Objection, Your Honor, the same objection, overruled. She was pointing a finger at me, emphasizing points. Let the record indicate the witness has taken up his left hand, extended his forefinger, and moved the hand up and down in a shaking motion. May I say I don't know if it was the left or right hand? I am left-handed. I just
just took it up. I don't know which hand. Was the motion accurately that you described the hand going up and down as it were? Yes. But were there any classrooms in this particular area? Yes, there was one classroom. There was a book room between the two classrooms. The book room is about eight foot wide. Then the doorway into the second room was in that location. Did you observe anything in regard to those rooms? No. Did you observe anyone in the hallway during this incident? Other than Mrs. Black? Other than Mrs. Black? No. Now, how long did this particular incident last? Probably 10 minutes. Thereafter, did you leave the area? Yes. What about Mrs. Hamilton? I am not sure if she walked with me or if she went the other way. I can't remember. I didn't hear that, Your Honor. I am not sure whether she walked with me or if she went to the other direction. I just don't remember how she left. Now, Mr. Foster, as principal of Vermont Avenue Elementary School from 1968 through the spring of 1972, did you authorize anyone to enter classrooms other than individuals that were working for the school without first obtaining a visitor's pass? No, sir. Did you authorize anyone to come upon the campus of the school and remain there without first obtaining a visitor's pass? No authorization, no. Your Honor, I have a document. It says Los Angeles City Schools Visitors Permit. May that be marked as people's next in order? That would be people's number seven, I believe. May I approach the witness, Your Honor? Yes, you may. Mr. Foster, directing your attention to people seven for identification only. Do you recognize that document? Yes, sir. What is that document? This is a visitor's permit. Was that the type of permit that was used during the 71-72 school year at Vermont Avenue Elementary School? Yes. Is this the type of permit that was required in order to visit a school room? Yes, sir. Where was one to obtain that, this particular type of permit? In the administration office. Could one obtain that permit anywhere else at the school? No. May I approach the witness, Your Honor? Yes, you may. Does this permit contain several instructions? Yes, sir. Were those instructions on the permits that were issued during the school year of 71-72 at Vermont Avenue Elementary School? Objection, Your Honor. There is no foundation that this witness examined each and every visitor's permit. It is overruled. Would you repeat that, please? Yes. Were those instructions contained on the permits that were issued during the school year of 71-72 at Vermont Avenue Elementary School. Yes, sir. Would you read those instructions from the permit? Please observe the following regulations. One, enter and leave the classroom as quietly as possible. Two, do not converse with the teacher during class time. Three, you are requested to limit your visit to 20 minutes. Four, if you wish to confer with the teacher, please arrange for a conference. Were there special times set for conferences? There are special times in schools for conferences. Pass time, I promise. <clears throat> Starts with the court. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let the record show you are back in your respective positions. And the attorney for the people is present, and the attorneys for the defendants are present, and the defendants themselves are present. Mr. Foster, would you like to retake the witness stand? Would there be any need to read the last question back? Yes, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Reporter, if you would be so kind. Mr. Foster, would you step to the diagram and indicate where you saw Mrs. Hamilton after the incident in the office? You have to visualize the second floor. This is the first floor. It would be approximately here on the second floor. Would you write on the second floor HA? Should you not say HA1 Council? HA1 would be fine, Your Honor. Now that is all you need. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Now, approximately what time of day did you see Mrs. Hamilton there? It must have been around 10 or thereabouts, 10.30, somewhere between 10 and 12. And you may return to the witness stand. At that time, did Mrs. Hamilton make any statement to you? We met in the hall. She began talking. I don't remember what her statement was. But there was a statement, just a lot of words. It was just coming and coming. She was talking to me about this and that. I don't remember what. 
Would you describe her tone of voice at that time? Yes, it was excited and rather aloud. But were there classrooms near this particular area? Yes. Do you remember any particular teacher's classroom? Yes, Mrs. Black's room was right opposite the doorway, was right opposite from where we were talking. Did you observe Mrs. Black at the time that Mrs. Hamilton was making the statements? Yes, Mrs. Black came to the door, looked at both of us and closed the door, obviously disturbed. I move to strike the last part as not responsive. The motion is granted. The jury is admonished not to consider the last part obviously disturbed. Was Mrs. Hamilton doing anything with her hands at the time? Objection. Leading. I believe you can change it. What, if anything, was Mrs. Hamilton doing at that time? What, if anything, was Mrs. Hamilton doing with her hands at that particular time? Objection. Your Honor, the same objection. Overruled. Was... She was pointing a finger at me, emphasizing points, let the record indicate the witness has taken up his left hand, extended his forefinger, and moved the hand up and down in a shaking motion. May I say I don't know if it was the left or right hand? I am left-handed. I just took it up. I don't know which hand. Was the motion accurately that you described the hand going up and down as it were? Yes. Were there any classrooms in this particular area? Yes, sir, one classroom. There was a book room between the two classrooms. The book room is about eight foot wide. Then the doorway into the second room was in that location. Did you observe anything in regard to those rooms? No. Did you observe anyone in the hallway during this incident other than Mrs. Black? Other than Mrs. Black? No. Now, how long did this particular incident last? Probably 10 minutes. And thereafter, did you leave the area? Yes. How about Mrs. Hamilton? I am not sure if she walked with me or if she went the other way. I can't remember. I didn't hear that answer, Your Honor. I am not sure whether she walked with me or she went to the other direction. I just don't remember how she left. One eighty four voice for five minutes starts with the court. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. You do solemnly swear that the testimony you may give in the cause now pending before this court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God, I do. Be seated, state your full name for the record, spelling your last name. Ephraim Gonzalez, E-F-R-A-M-G-O-N-Z-A-L-E-Z. -E -E sir, I direct your attention to the 22nd day of September of last year. Now on that day, what was your permanent residence at that time? It was 2947 Linwood Road in Visalia, California. On the 22nd of September, starting out in the morning of that day, where were you then? I was in Norwalk on Algardi Street at Stephen Ayala's house. Is that a female or male? So you were in the Los Angeles County area on that particular day, sir? Yes, I was. On that day, did you see anyone who has, whose name has come up in court in this case? Yes, I have. Who was the first person that you saw who has been mentioned in this case? Johnny and Marilyn, I haven't seen her, but her name was mentioned. And Felix and his girlfriend, I believe her name is Lucy. You mean Felix? Right, uh-huh. Did you see them for the first time, all at the same time together? Excuse me, I'm sorry. I don't believe it was his girlfriend. It was Johnny's cousin. I don't know her name. I just, when was it that you saw these people for the first time on the 22nd? It was approximately about 4.30, between 4.30 and 5.15, I imagine, something like that. In the afternoon, yes, uh-huh. Had you come to see them, or they come to see you, or how was it that you happened to meet them? I had just come back from the beach with my little girl and my girlfriend, and I was parked there, and I was outside cleaning my car, and I got in, and I was leaving. I was going to the store, I believe, and I saw Marilyn was driving a 69 green Impala, which later, I believe, was Ronnie's car. I found out it was his car. Now, they invited me over to his residence later on that night to go over later on that night. 
this was just a chance meeting then? Yes. At that time, which one of these persons did you already know? I knew Marilyn and Johnny. Did you know Felix? No, I didn't. You state that you were in your car? Yes, I was. Is that the white Cadillac that has been referred to in the evidence in this case? Yes, uh-huh. So then later on that day, did you go over to Johnny's house? Yes, I did. Uh-huh. Is that someplace in Whittier? Is that correct? Yes, it's in Whittier. When you went there, did anybody go with you? No, I went by myself. Who all was there at Johnny's house when you arrived? Ronnie was there and Raymond was there. Marilyn, Johnny, Felix. I believe there were two other girls there. I don't remember their names, though. How many of the people who were there did you actually know from prior acquaintance, Johnny and Marilyn? What kind of a gathering was this, social or for what? Well, earlier that day, I had known that Johnny was in the hospital because he had had prior operations on his leg, and he asked me if I, he had gotten out, and from what I understand, they were supposed to amputate his leg because it was pretty bad. So he had recovered, I guess, or something, and had been in the hospital for about a week. So he said he was going to have just a little gathering, you know, to just celebrate that they didn't cut off his leg, I guess. Was there a party going on there? Well, I wouldn't call it a party. It was a little social gathering, I guess you would call it. Were refreshments going around? Yes, there was. What were people drinking? Well, I had purchased a bottle of wine before I went over there. I believe it was Strawberry Hill I had taken, and there was beer there, and that was all the liquor that I saw. What time was it that you say you arrived there, if you recall? It must have been about, I guess, 8.30, close to 9 o'clock, something like that. At the time you arrived at that gathering, were you acquainted with Lisa Harmon? No, sir, I wasn't. Were you acquainted at that time with Virginia? No, I wasn't. Did you know where they lived up there in Pico Rivera? No, I didn't, sir. Prior to that day, had you ever been to that address on Walnut that has been referred to in the testimony? No, I hadn't. Had you ever seen Mona before? No, sir, I hadn't. So that night was the first time you had ever met her? Yes, sir. How about Virginia? Had you ever met her before? No, sir, I hadn't. Did you know who she was? No, sir, I didn't. Well, let me ask you this. Had you ever heard of Felix Ayala before you met him that day? No, sir, I didn't. Had you ever seen him before? Earlier that day I did. But I mean before the 22nd of September. To your knowledge, no, sir. Had you ever seen Felix before? No. How about Raymond? Did you know him before the 22nd of September? No, I didn't, sir. Is it correct to say then you met Raymond for the first time when you went to Johnny's house that evening? Yes, sir. Did you strike up an acquaintance with Raymond when you were there at Johnny's? Yes. One sixty four voice for five minutes starts with the court. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we will take the recess at this point for 10 minutes. Do not discuss the case among yourselves or with any other person or persons whomsoever. Form no opinions as to the guilt or innocence of the accused parties until the matter is finally submitted to you for decision. Court stands in recess for 10 minutes. The court will resume the matter of the people versus Ayala and Gonzalez the defendants are present with their respective counsel, the district attorney is present, the jurors are present and in their respective locations. Sir, return to the witness stand. At this time, you are still under the oath of a witness. The court just has a couple of additional questions I wish to ask of you at this point. Why did you go to Visalia? That's where I was living, sir, my home. That is your home? Yes, sir. How long had you been here in this county from Visalia before this incident occurred when he was shot? How long have I lived here? Well, no. 
how long have you been here in the county from Visalia if it was your home? How long had you been in LA County before Ramon got shot? About, well, it was, let's see, about a day and a half. And then you went to your house in Visalia? Yes, sir. Did you ever communicate with anybody in Visalia the fact that you had been a witness, a partial witness to some proceeding down here such as went on before you were arrested? That is, yes, sir, I did. Who did you talk to? A roommate that was living with me. Mr. Aide, you may proceed. Sir, I have a document here. May this be marked Defendant Gonzalez's A or, well, it will be marked as Defendant's Exhibit C. It's entitled License Temporary, typed on it, is the name Joseph Gonzalez. I show this to you. Do you recognize that document? Yes, sir. Now, it has a date stamped on it of September 11, 1974, doesn't it? Yes, sir. What document is that? Temporary license. Whose is it? Mine. Does it have your address on it? Yes, sir. What is that address that is typed on it? 2943 Linwood. What city? Visalia, California. When did you get that license? September of last year? Yes, sir. May I see it, counsel? Yes. On the 23rd of September, do you know where that license was? Yes, sir. Where? It was in my wallet in the trunk of my car. When you left the car there at the restaurant, did you leave your wallet there? Yes, sir. As far as you know, was it then recovered by the police who recovered your car there? I imagine so. I want to go back to what happened that night on the 23rd. You say that you took off in the car and came to Olympic. Is that right? Yes, sir. And you testified that you came to where Olympic comes to Rosemead. Is that correct? I believe it is. Yes. And there's a stop sign there. I remember seeing a stop sign there. You do? I do remember seeing a stop sign because I stopped. I had to stop. And you testified that you knew at that point where the hospital was? Yes, sir, I did. South on Rosemead, is that right? Yes. But you stood there for a while and didn't drive away. Is that correct? Yes, I stood there about, I guess, a minute or two. I don't recall exactly how long it was. You didn't drive down Rosemead towards the hospital, did you? No, sir, I didn't. Exactly where did you drive to after that? Well, I don't remember the street or anything. I just, I remember just driving straight across. I guess it would be Olympic. I drove in and at this point I was going to take Raymond out of my car. Did you do that just then? No, sir, I didn't. Why not? Well, when I drove in, I... Remember, my car is pretty long and it's a small little drive.